You bought the curriculum or you already have the resources and now you're wondering how do I plan it out in my school year so that I get it done in the time that I want. It's a very simple formula and I'm here to share it with you, but you're going to need a few things first. You're going to need to know how long you have to complete the resource. It doesn't matter if it's a book series, a unit study, you can figure out exactly how many units you have and how long you have to do them and so how much you have to do every day. The simple formula is the unit of the material divided by or over the unit of time. So I'm gonna walk you through these things, what you need to know, and it's going to be so easy for you to plan out any curriculum or any homeschool resource that you have. So let's get started. You need to know what is the amount of time that you have to complete the resource. If you're at the beginning of your school year, this should be easy. You just figure out how long your school year is. How many weeks is it going to be? How many days is it going to be? How many days are you going to do per week? If you're only doing school four days a week, it's going to take you a little bit longer to complete any of your resources but you can use the formula to figure out if you could actually do fewer days per week of that particular resource when I divided out the Bob books over a year I found out that I could instead of doing one every day I could in theory do one every four days so it can give you some more wiggle room if you want to take it or it could allow you to figure out that you're going to have to plan something else after that particular curriculum is finished it will help to have a year at a glance calendar and you just go through and figure out what weeks you want off. If you're going to take the summer off, for instance, if you're going to take certain holidays off and for how long and any kind of wiggle room you want to put in your school year. If your state has some kinds of requirements like 900 hours per year or 180 days per year, you can divide that by the number of weeks that you want to do to figure out how much you have to spend per day on school. Your ultimate goal is to figure out what is your school week and that is are you going to do school four or five days a week and what is your school year? How many weeks? is it? And this will give you that unit of time that you're going to be dividing your material across. I'm going to call this the winning window because if you complete your curriculum or your resource in this time, then you will officially be winning at it. Not that you have to complete every curriculum, but if that's your goal, this will help you meet that goal. You can also use this formula to figure out how long you want to school per week and how many weeks it should take you to get through your curriculum. So you can use it also to work backwards by plugging in different units of time to see how long will it take to finish your particular curriculum under different circumstances. The next thing that you have to figure out is what is the unit of the material? So if you're working with, say, a book series like the Bob books, you'll need to know how many pages or how many books you want to do every day. What does the daily lesson plan look like? Say it's a chapter book. You could use the unit of chapter or you could use the unit of pages and figure out how long should it take you to read that chapter book if you wanted to do it in a certain amount of time. Depending on what your curriculum is, this could be more or less tricky. For instance, the All About Spelling has 24 steps, but those 24 steps steps could take either a day, two days, or two and a half weeks. You don't know, but you can still use this formula to divide those steps by the amount of time you want them to be completed. And so you can know that if you want to fit in, say, two levels of all about spelling in your school year, how fast would you have to do it in order to accomplish that? I plan to do videos breaking down how I plan out most of the curriculums that I use so that you can see those specific videos and sort of get a feel for what I'm talking about. So if you have your winning window, it's the goal time that you have to finish the particular resource that you have and you know how many units are in that particular resource, whether it's pages or chapters or units or daily lessons, whatever it is, then all you do is you plug it into this basic equation, the unit of the material divided by the unit of time. So let's give it a go on some basic examples. Say that all about spelling has 24 steps. If I have 42 weeks, that is 0.57 steps per week. I probably have room to do two levels in a year if I wanted to do it every single day. Or I could keep that one level unit and just see how far we can go doing it twice a week and see maybe we could finish early and then fill in those gaps at the end of the year. Say that you're working with a Becca Language Arts Level 1 and it has 170 pages in it. And say I want to do that in 36 weeks. So I just simply divide 170 by 36 and that is 4.7. My child who I want to do that should do probably five pages, which is about one page a day in a five day school week. Awesome. Now I know that I need to do that particular language arts 
every single day of my school week. And if I have a four day school week and I still wanna keep that 36 weeks, I'm going to have to fit two of those pages in one day. Easy peasy. Now let's say that you've got 12 chapters and you wanna get it done in 40 weeks. 12 divided by 40 is 0.3. You would need to do a little less than a third of a chapter every week. As you can see, this formula works for any curriculum, any resource, and really any project that you have in mind. Divide the material by the amount of time that it takes to do it. If you wanna see how I used this method to plan out Bob books or all about spelling, stay tuned for those videos. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this content. Thanks so much for being here. I love you guys. Bye.